I'm Paulina Couture with Makers, and here's this week's Women Who Made Shit Happen. This month, Lucy Hale teamed up with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital to raise awareness for Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Every year, over 175,000 children under the age of 14 are diagnosed with cancer worldwide. But thanks to the life-saving treatments invented at St. Jude, the childhood cancer survival rate has gone from 20% to more than 80% since it opened more than 50 years ago. Uh, so I got involved with St. Jude mainly because I'm from Memphis. Uh, so it really resonated with me. My stepsister was actually treated at St. Jude um, and I, I played a cancer patient this past year so it felt really authentic and genuine um, and it's a pretty incredible magical place. Now the actress whose sister was a patient at the hospital is using her platform to get everyone to rally behind the organization. This one's for the babes. Ayanna Presley rocked national media this week when she defeated 10-term congressmen in a Democratic primary for Massachusetts. But this came as no surprise to us. She's been a force for change in politics ever since she became the first woman of color ever elected to Boston City Council. From her heartfelt reaction to the news to her stepdaughter's emotional response, Presley captured hearts across social media. Now she's running unopposed in November, almost certainly making her the first black woman to represent Massachusetts in Congress. In the words of Presley, change can't wait. Watch out world, make room for a new superhero, this time from Marvel Cinematic Universe. When Captain Marvel hits theaters in March, it'll be the first Marvel movie to star a solo female superhero. Captain Marvel, AKA Carol Danvers, will be played by the talented Brie Larson. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, the actress described her dynamic character. Just seeing a character who says how she feels and says what's on her mind and doesn't let people stand in her way is incredibly empowering. Sounds like our kind of super hero. Now we all know that black girls rock, but this Sunday, all of our favorite queens are getting honored at the 2018 BET Black Girls Rock Awards for rocking their magic and owning their truth. This year's winners include maker Lena Waith, R&B singer Mary J. Blige, Me Too founder Tarana Burke, legendary dancer and choreographer Judith Jameson, and more. Amanda Gorman, the nation's first youth poet laureate, talked to makers on the red carpet about the importance of honoring these women. I think in a world where black women are often trodden upon and disrespected, it is all the more vital to have events where we celebrate them, where we encourage them, where we appreciate them, to tell them we know who you are and what you contribute to society. I'm Paulina Couture from Makers, and tune in next week for Women Make Shit Happen.